Uh, Rosh Hashanah is almost upon us. It's uh, about two weeks away. And I want to talk about one of my favorite topics. And I bet it's one of your favorite topics. S-I-N. Sin. Sin is very exciting. Sin could be very meaningful. Sin could be very disastrous. The problem with sin today is that we've defined sin down. There's almost no standard for sin. Everything can be explained away. Carl Manager wrote a book, I think, in the early 1970s called Whatever Became of Sin. Because people no longer think that they're sinning. And the truth of the matter is, is that sin is very important. And recognizing sin is even more important. Because it's not so much the guilt, it's really the healthy guilt. Because if you think that you're doing something wrong, then there's a chance that you're going to change and become better. Let's say you overeat, so you're sinning against your body. Let's say you don't sleep, you're sinning against your body. Let's say you don't eat enough, you're sinning against your body. Sin is not only committing sins against people. You can sin against yourself. And the most important thing that we can do is recognize sin. Not to explain it away and not to define it down, but to recognize it. That's what the sound of the shofar is all about. When that shofar blasts, we think about our lives and how it moves before us. And before we know it, it's not going to be here any longer. So let's use our time responsibly. Let's use our time usefully. And even though you may not go to synagogue in the morning and hear the shofar being blown every single morning during the month of Elul, think about that long blast of the tekiah. Think about the trua, the staccato, cry and wail. Think about the shivarim, the broken cry. Think about yourself and think about your life. And think about how God has given us the gift of repentance. Use it well. Shana Tovah.